Hello, hello. Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for taking time out of your day to come to this info session. Um, I appreciate everyone who's joining live. I know there'll probably be some more trickling in in the next few minutes, and there'll also be some people watching us on the recording. This is being recorded right now. I'll, um, I'll go through a couple of logistics, and then I'll get to know the people in the room. Um, but you're welcome to turn on your video so I can see your face or not. It's up to you. Since this isn't a regular class, if you don't want to turn your video on, that's all right. So let me go ahead and share my PowerPoint and we'll get started. All right. Can everybody see the PowerPoint? Awesome, I'm seeing some nods, thank you. Okay, so this is an info session about the court interpreting masterclass for all languages. I'm really, really, really excited about this class. Um, this is the fourth collaboration that I've had with Virginia Valencia from interpret train and it's the first that we are offering to everybody not just Spanish interpreters and that's really important to me because um, as well as a Spanish interpreter I'm a French interpreter and I know how difficult it is to find resources for interpreters of languages other than Spanish now if you're also a Spanish interpreter I know there's a couple of those in the room you can also feel free to take all this information and then you make the choice whether you'd like to join this all languages hybrid class in the fall or if you would rather apply for the Spanish specific one in the spring. But this is an info session on the All Languages Masterclass and is offered by Athena Sky Interpreting. And this is today, June 15th at noon. I see there's something coming in on the chat and I'll check on it in a second. All right, so a little bit of housekeeping before we begin. Uh, the recording is on. Please keep your mute button on at all times. Uh, that will help to just avoid extraneous noise. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd love to see your faces. You can turn on your webcams if you'd like. This is being recorded, so if you'd rather that your participation, if you ask a question or something, you'd like it not to get recorded, then go ahead and, or you don't want your identity recorded, then change your name. You can just put it something generic like Mandarin interpreter and then only use the chat okay and then I'll and then I might quote what you say like Mandarin interpreter asks blah 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 but I won't actually say your name and so your your identity will be protected okay all right um so a little bit on Athena Sky interpreting usually we present webinars for continuing education and we're for students who love learning we're not an easy a our students earn their continuing education certificates by working hard and having fun. And our motto is early is on time and on time is late, so don't be late. And I really appreciate all of you taking the time out of your day and also making sure to be punctual. It's, it's really helpful for moving things along and that's what I'll expect in the master class. We also have a code of conduct at Athena Sky Interpreting and in our master class. As an Athena Sky Interpreting student, you're expected to show up on time to participate fully from a private location with your camera on, not from your car, and to treat Athena Sky interpreting team and fellow classmates with dignity and respect in oral and written communications. And then our promise to you is we love teaching people who love to learn. So we strive to make our classes dynamic, participatory, relevant, engaging, and most of all, fun. So this event is a little bit different. This is not a webinar. Uh, it's not for continuing education. It's just an info session that you feel like attending because you're curious about the master class. And so the expectation is a little bit different. You can sign in from wherever you'd like, but still, please, if you're driving, watch the recording later. I don't want to be responsible for any accidents. Um, we're not taking attendance. We're not issuing certificates. And if you'd like to, you can keep your camera off. Um, you should still arrive on time like you did just to make sure that you were let in when the virtual doors open. Okay, so the recording is on, your microphones are muted. There, you can participate in the chat, I'll check on it in a second. Um, I, I'll, I'll check on it periodically throughout the presentation and then at the end, I'll make sure to have time for questions and answers. So if you notice that your question didn't get addressed because maybe I missed it for some reason, then just repeat it at the end. There are a lot of us, so let's respect each other's time and learning space. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit about me and then I wanna get to know all of you. Um, my credentials, I'm a certified healthcare interpreter for Spanish and English. I am also approved in the state of New Jersey as a court interpreter for Spanish as well as French. And that's really where my experience has given me the resources that I'd love to share with you when it comes to all languages and not just Spanish. 
I'm also a federally certified court interpreter, and I have a master's in conference interpreting from Glendon College. So I'm cross-trained in all three, in community interpreting, in court interpreting, and master, and in conference interpreting. And I've basically spent the better part of a decade, over a decade, studying interpreting inside and out. Uh, what prevents us from doing our best? How do we set goals and keep to them? How can we have study schedules beyond just the techniques of consecutive and simultaneous, but also how do I arrange my life in support of the things that I want to learn? Because these techniques aren't easy. Interpreting is a, is a really cool profession and it's one of it's a profession where you don't need a degree. You can get a degree and I do have them, but you don't need it. If you can develop the skills on your own or with the help of instructors, you can get certification and you can start working in a pretty profitable and rewarding career. That said, it's not always easy because if you don't go through a degree program, you don't necessarily know where to start or what the materials should be or just if you're on the right path. And so my intention with these master classes is really uh, just to to share all of the knowledge that I have gleaned over the last 10 to 15 years. So I'm seeing in the chat, there's come some greetings from Florida, greetings from Texas. Hello, thank you so much. It's nice to see you. Okay, I'll go back to my screen um, and, then, and then I'll get to know you a little bit. So yeah, so that's the next question. What I'd like to know from you is, oh, where are you located first of all? We had Texas, we had Florida, any other locations? Any, any other, oh, oh, Peru, yes. nice. Welcome. New Mexico. Ooh, New Mexico, welcome. Okay, New Mexico, Peru, Texas, Florida. Maybe we have a couple other places as well. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh my goodness. Wow, we've got some international participants today. That's awesome. Great. Okay, cool. My next question, I'll go ahead and share that slide with you just so you can see it, is what languages do you interpret? What languages do we have in the room? I can guess from the countries that maybe we have a couple of Spanish interpreters. What else? And, and you can confirm Spanish. What Chinese, are Chinese. Ooh, Chinese. Chinese language. And Wonderful. Mandarin and Cantonese, both. Both. Okay, Mandarin and Cantonese. That's amazing. Wonderful. And we have Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Awesome. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of Spanish as well. And I've been seeing that too. I think now that the word is out about our Spanish master classes, there's been a lot more um, just there's people are people are talking about it. So we're seeing people coming to these sessions. So that's amazing. Okay, thank you so much for joining. So we've got Spanish, we've got Mandarin, and I know um, they may not be here in the room right now, but I know that we had some Urdu and uh, Urdu. I saw some Hindi come in, I saw some French come in, so I know there's some other languages as well. Cool. All right, so um, last question, and uh, what is your interpreting magic wish? If you could just rub the genie bottle, and the genie could fly out poof, what, what would you have? What skills would you have? What certifications would you have? What kind of jobs would you have? What are, what's your magic wish? Take a moment to think about it. And if you're watching the recording, you can also take a moment to think about it. And those of us who are joining live can then feel free to put it in the chat. I'll give you a moment. My interpreting magic wish is to get numbers. <laughs> I've done a lot of practice over the years to get better at, at numbers and I'm better. I've, I've, I've seen improvement, but I would, I think that would be my magic wish. Just whenever someone says a number, I get it. Okay. Federal and state court certification. Awesome. That's a great goal. Love it. That at one time was my goal too. Become a professional educational interpreter. Awesome. Okay, really cool. Yes. So what we will be doing in the master class is more, um, it's the, the materials we're using are from courtroom settings. However, all of the techniques and all of the advice and all of the test taking tips and everything else will be applicable to community interpreting. And community is an umbrella that covers education, interpreting, church interpreting, interpreting in, in social work situations, as well as medical interpreting, right? So, so absolutely, you're in the right place for, for that. The materials will be tailored more toward vocabulary for court interpreting, but vocabulary is just one piece of the puzzle. Okay, we have another one to better understand cultural nuances from every Latin American country. Okay, yes, I, that's also mine. <laughs> I, I like that magic wish. I would also like that magic wish to be granted. Cool. Wonderful. All right. So, and you feel free to add if, if more comes to you. Um, 
the the purpose of our master classes is to help you to achieve your goals so a, a goal that many people share when they come to our master classes not everybody but many uh, is to become certified either at the state level or if they're spanish interpreters the federal level right so state court certification is definitely something we will be priming you towards and and the whole idea of the master class is to hand you a, a skill set to hand you a toolbox that you can then draw upon and tweak to your own individual needs right um to give you the foundations of of consecutive the foundations of simultaneous and then how to up the ante so we've had for our last master class we had a really great um variety of people from true beginners who really didn't were just stepping into the interpreting profession all the way up to a woman who was federally certified and just wanted to increase her skills right so we we have we cater to a large variety of people and what i'm looking for because not everybody who applies to the master class will be accepted what i'm looking for are people who understand that it takes hard work it takes discipline it takes perseverance it takes it takes disappointment it takes trying something again and again and again uh this is like trying to become a professional athlete or like trying to become a super skilled concert musician right it's rome was not built in a day and it really you have to really want what you're trying for and you have to really work at it so i'm looking for people who are passionate about interpreting and who know that they'll have to put the work in and and if you are that person then i'm really excited to guide you in your process uh there was somebody in the chat who mentioned the cultural nuances and yes it's so important to and it's not even just latin america even if you're a spanish interpreter um you encounter language that's been influenced by and culture by cultures from all over the place right um we we interpret sometimes for attorneys who uh who for whom english isn't their native language and maybe they come from a different place or the judges might come from a different country so our cultural understanding really has to be up there and one of the reasons i'm excited about this master class for all languages is we'll be able to combine resources we'll be able to say oh what's it like for you as a mandarin interpreter what's it like for you as a haitian creole interpreter so i'm really excited about that opportunity for cultural interaction Okay, I have lost the ability to use my mouse. That's exciting. Luckily, I have a backup mouse, but if you see me moving weirdly, it's because my mouse disappeared. Come on, mouse. Turn it on, off. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Thank you so much for letting me know a little bit about you. What do you think, this is my last question to you, and then I'll continue with the presentation and, and we'll have time for questions and answers at the end. But what is stopping you from getting your your dream when you think about what your interpreting magic wish is, maybe it's certification, maybe it's this increased cultural understanding. Why don't you have it yet? What what is stopping you? Feel free to think about that, whether you're in the class live or you're participating later via the recording. What's stopping you? Felix, go ahead. Um, in my case, I think it's uh, the vocabulary, the understanding. Uh, there's a lot of words that um, I'm having trouble just to you know, just to be just state certified. You yeah. know, and so vocabulary has to do a lot with the just a written part. And I mean, I can go over it and over it, but it seems like when you take the state exam, it's like totally like different. You know, there's like words that I haven't even heard of. So that's where i'm stuck at that point. absolutely that makes a lot of sense thank you felix and and i i'm sure that a lot of people out there agree with you the interesting thing is that when we start to delve deeper we often see it's not just vocabulary it's not getting thrown off when we hear a vocabulary word we don't understand right because sometimes what happens is we hear something new and then our brain just goes into like freak out mode and we're we're trying to figure out wait what does it mean how do i say it and then we miss everything else that the person says and then that can really cause a downward spiral in an exam situation for sure so it's partly learning the vocabulary for sure partly understanding the vocabulary through context and then just being able to have coping mechanisms when we do run into unknown and vocabulary. Those are all things we will be covering in the master class. In the Spanish specific one, there will be materials that are in Spanish. In the English specific, or in the, in the all languages one, 
you will, as a, if you decide to join us as a Spanish interpreter, you will have access to both. You'll have access to the materials that we'll be using with the Mandarin interpreters, the Haitian Creole interpreters. Um, we will be using specific English materials that teach us consecutive simultaneous site translation. English materials that form the basis of glossaries that I will then guide you to creating for your language. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we'll tailor uh, those English exercises and we will actually come up with some Mandarin exercises. I don't speak every language, I wish I did, um, but I have a lot of experience, especially with my French background, in, uh, in getting creative when it comes to practicing. So I'll be guiding all of the languages through that process. And if you're a Spanish interpreter, you'll join in, but you'll also have access to specific Spanish materials that have been created that you can use flashcards and that kind of thing. So it's a pretty cool opportunity because you'll you'll be able to access both. Um, I see in the chat there were a couple of answers as well. So I need to improve my note taking skills for consecutive interpreting. That is my favorite thing to do. I love note taking and part of why I love it is because of how hard it is. And so at the beginning I struggled a lot. And so now I have a whole bunch of tools I can give you for that. And Virginia Valencia um, from Interpret Train, I'm collaborating with her. If you attend the master class, you'll be my student. I will be guiding you through. She may make a guest appearance at some point, but she's more of the backstage. But her backstage material, she's like, if you think of us as theater, she's, she's done the set design and the costume design. And her materials are extraordinary. She has the note-taking manual, and that will be included as part of the package with the master class and it walks you through symbols it walks you through practice exercises so you can practice verticality walks you through picking out keywords and phrases and then i will also be guiding you through that as well so we have materials and instruction on consecutive note taking on consecutive interpreting and then with note taking in general, because um, there was a couple of you who said that in the chat, we'll, we'll be approaching note taking. A lot of times, though, this is another thing, people don't realize that um, it's really our memory, our memory and our listening that comes first, because we don't keep the information on the notepad. We keep the information in our brains. And then our notepads remind us of what our brains have retained. But if we didn't retain anything, if we weren't listening carefully enough, if we weren't analyzing and engaging with the speaker as they spoke in our minds, then all we have is a bunch of chicken scratch on our page. And that happens a lot. So we'll be we'll be covering all that. We'll be covering all three modes. We'll be covering note taking and um, and vocabulary building, glossary building, and everything else. I'm really excited because in the end, what we're going to end up with is a share drive for our master class students. So we'll have a Mandarin drive that has the work that you've done with exercises and glossaries that you've built. Again, I can't build them for you. I'm sorry, but you'll be able to, to coordinate with each other and, and build with yourselves. Uh, and I'll guide you through that process. I've had, to date, I've had, um, a lot of different students. Obviously, I've had Spanish students, but I've also had French students. I have had uh, students who spoke Arabic, um, Romanian, Portuguese. So I have a lot of experience working with languages that aren't my own, even when I can't speak them, even though actually I want to change my genie wish because I think my genie magic wish would be to speak every language for sure. All right, I'm going to go back to the presentation. And my plan is for this to take about an hour. Um, so I'll leave time for Q&A at the end. And, um, and then the recording will be shared with everybody next week. OK, so um, a little bit more about me. I, uh, this is me. <laughs> I'm the little girl here with the braids. This is my whole family. That's my dad, my mom. And then you can see my four siblings. And when I was a kid, I liked to do a lot of acrobatics. And then our family has gotten bigger over the years. Here you can see us at the solar eclipse uh, a few years ago. And since then, there have been several more nieces and nephews added to the equation. I am an aunt times eight. I also still like to do a little bit of acrobatics when I have the chance. In college is when I fell in love with Spanish. I, I, I did. And, and there were three tracks in, in in college, you could be, you could do linguistics, you could do literature, or you could do the translation and interpreting program. This was at first at community college, but then at Rutgers University. And I decided I wanted to be an interpreter. And this is from ground zero. I learned, como estas? <laughs> How are you? And that was it, like on the first day of class, right? So um, I, I started from scratch. Same with French. I started French the next year, also starting from scratch and realized that I loved languages. So I wanted to become an interpreter but I didn't quite know what to do. 
it, 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 a lot of professors actually told me, no, you're going to need such a high level of language skill. It's going to be really hard for you. They weren't the most encouraging bunch. Um, and there were so many unknowns. Was I studying the right way? Was I saying things right, especially when I was speaking in my non-native language? Um, the cool thing, again, about working with multiple languages in the room, we'll, we'll all be able to work on our English together, and even I can sometimes work in my English, um, and then we'll look for support in the room. It's possible that you know, somebody might end up being the only Arabic interpreter or the only Haitian Creole interpreter. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that enough people um, want to to come that there can be doubles of languages. But even if you're the only language in the room, uh, you will still have guidance and, and support and accountability. And with English, you'll be sure to be able to get English feedback on, on whether you're saying things right. And then also I wanted to know what I should be doing differently when I was studying. So I graduated from college. I went to Honduras for a year. I improved my Spanish. My French kind of lagged behind, but I tried to seek out classes where I could improve it. And then I started studying for certification. And I did a lot of things. I created a lot of glossaries. I repeated exercises a lot. I even started a book club at one point so that we could learn about certain topics in context and uh, and get vocabulary and also so we could hold each other accountable I, I created a study group I basically like created a master a master study group at the time and it took a lot of hard work uh, sometimes it felt like I had a whole bunch of different arms right and and I felt overwhelmed a lot of the time but finally I was able to pass my certifications it started it, it wasn't like a totally upward battle right I um I passed most of the sections of the court interpreting at the state level, but then I failed one of them, so I had to go back, I retook that test, then I passed it, then I started studying for the federal written, passed the federal written, passed the federal oral, and eventually found myself in a situation where I had attained the certifications that I needed. But it was a lot of hard work, and and it was a and it'll always be hard work. I mean, whether whether you have a master class or not, it will be hard work. But I could have used more guidance. So now. I, as I mentioned, I'm certified as a healthcare interpreter. I'm approved in New Jersey as a court interpreter in Spanish and French. I have federal certification and I have my master's degree. And I was a staff interpreter. So I worked full time for three years in the courthouse uh, in, from 2013 to 2016. And then in 2016, I moved here to Montreal, where I am currently. I'm actually in Montreal, Canada right now. I, I didn't say that earlier when I was asking all of you where you're from. So I'm from New Jersey, but I live in Montreal. And I've been an interpreter and a trainer with Athena Sky Interpreting since 2016. And I've helped a lot of students to improve their skills, to prepare themselves professionally, and also to become certified. So more help would have been nice. And the cool thing is I actually sent fan mail to interpret train. <laughs> uh, that's Virginia Valencia right there with me. I sent her fan mail and she became the, the study buddy that I never had, right? She wasn't my study buddy at the beginning when we started our journeys, but now she's my teammate. And, and it's really incredible to have a colleague like her and to have her guidance and influence and support while I'm creating this master class, which you'll experience as a student in the master class too. So basically what we decided was to give people what we always wanted, what could have been helpful for us when we were studying, which is guidance, accountability, clear objective feedback, emotional support, and test-taking skills. And the proof is in the pudding. We are currently having um, this second round of federal certifications coming in. So the federal exam is one that's available for Spanish interpreters. And we have had a huge number of students from our master class pass that exam. It's really, really exciting. So we've had three full master classes for Spanish interpreters. Uh, the last one just finished. So a lot of them haven't taken their exams yet. And some of them are just studying for professional development. So I'm still crunching numbers, but I know for a fact that that chancing, your chances of passing a certification exam were increased by at least 50% by participating in these master classes. And the number is probably, excuse me, probably higher than that. 
So this fall, we're breaking through the walls of Spanish interpretation, right? Um, I don't want this masterclass to be only for Spanish interpreters. I love teaching Spanish interpreters. I'm thrilled to see all of you in the room. Um, I'd love to have you join us, but I also want to open it up to the Mandarin interpreters, the Portuguese interpreters, the French interpreters, <coughs> Russian, Arabic, uh, Swahili, any any other language that that you can think of that would want the either either the experience or and uh, the certification um, preparation. So the main difference, the, the master class will be quite similar to the Spanish class. And if you are a Spanish interpreter, you should know that we will be having a Spanish specific master class in the spring. So it's very similar, <clears throat> but here are some either differences or just places where they'll be emphasized more in the all languages class. So there will be multiple languages in one room, which I'm very excited about. And there will be the opportunity to join forces with other interpreters in your language when possible. And that will happen in the Spanish class as well, um, that there will be these little subgroups that you do homework assignments together and you give each other feedback after I've gone over with you what appropriate feedback looks like. Because I'm here to guide you on your interpreting journey, but you're the one who's going to have to walk the the walk the walk, right? You're going to have to progress forward. You're going to have to interpret and listen to your recording and figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are. And I'm guiding you in that journey. So your classmates will also be joining you in that journey and they will be giving you feedback. They will be helping you to notice what your strengths are because sometimes we, we just don't pay attention to what we're doing well, right? And that's really important. They'll be giving you moral support and they'll be giving you constructive feedback so that you can become a better interpreter. <clears throat> Just a moment. Okay. Um, there will be instruction and exercises in English that will strengthen all three modes. So there's a lot that can be done. For example, in, in simultaneous, uh, excuse me, sorry, there's something stuck in my throat. In simultaneous, uh, we only need the English, right? Because we're always interpreting in a court setting from English into our other language. Site translation, again, there's plenty of times that we'll be going from English into our other language. Now, with consecutive, it's nice to have um, dual dialogues, dialogues that go in both directions. So you would have like English, Arabic, English, Arabic. And I will be guiding you through the process of creating those exercises for yourselves and your classmates. So you will, in the end, have those exercises, but we'll also be working with English only consecutive exercises to strengthen everything else. Because it's not just language, it's not just vocabulary, it's visualization, it's active listening, it's note taking, it's it's, it's analysis, it's delivery. And you can practice all of those things in just one language. And that's what I've done a lot of times with my students who speak languages that I don't understand. I can still give them lots of guidance going English to English. So you'll have both. You'll have the materials in English that will strengthen all three modes, but then you'll also have um, glossary building, terminology understanding, and exercises in your language. There will also be instruction on note taking for consecutive interpretation and like I'm mentioning the guidance on creation of language specific exercises. So like I said, very similar to the Spanish language uh, master class, but there will be an emphasis on getting creative and coming up with your own glossaries and making your own materials. Okay, in addition to all of the materials that we're providing for you. All right, let's see. Um, we had a teacher list a wish list. And that included having a class that was holistic, where we emphasized wellness and programmed our brains to succeed. We use in our master classes, we use the marathon mindset to achieve lifelong goals. And that's with attitude and, and goals and ideas and just understanding how to have realistic goals that you can reasonably achieve. Self-care is also emphasized because if you don't have the time or energy to study, you're not going to be able to effectively study. You can't pour from an empty cup and you've got to take care of yourself first. We also cover breathing techniques in this course. And you might be like, wait, what does breathing have to do with interpreting? But actually it has a lot to do with interpreting. If you even just take a moment right now to kind of pause, close your eyes and think, okay, how am I doing and what distractions are running through my mind right now? And what am I worried about for later? What am I worried about from before? All of that mental chit chat 
takes up valuable brain space. And we need our brain space very vitally <laughs> in order to interpret properly. So breathing techniques allow us to clear our minds and to clear a mental space and a neural pathway for us to actually absorb the interpreting techniques that we need. Breathing mindfully increases your concentration, your accuracy, and your memory retention. And breathing is also an effective way to keep calm. When you're nervous, your brain's not getting enough oxygen, and that can deny you access to crucial information. So like in the example from earlier, where I said, yeah, sometimes you can't think of a vocabulary unit in the moment. And so you start to panic. And then as you're panicked, you're holding your breath because our whole nervous system is primed to do this. It's just a thing. Our nervous system thinks that um, when we're nervous, it's because a tiger is chasing us. And so we need to get into fight or flight mode and, and be ready to run. But that's not actually true. In this case, we just need to be able to focus really carefully without getting freaked out. So we have to actively remember to send oxygen to our brain so that we actually do have the space to concentrate on what we need to concentrate on. So we'll be covering that uh, as part of the master class and as part of this holistic model of self-care and, and just creating a safe study space so that we can be the best interpreters we can be. An oxygenated, oxygenated brain then grants you easy access to data. You'll have your study buddies, a study buddy will increase your motivation, your commitment, and will give you useful feedback. And there'll also be a forum on our class platform where you'll be able to communicate with one another. And then we'll repeat, repeat, repeat again. Some students think that repeating the same exercise is cheating, but nothing could be further from the truth. And the misconception is probably responsible for many failed interpreting tests. There is an art to repeating an interpreting exercise, and I'll, I'll guide you through that, but it's really important that we be able to layer on our skills. We're having to deal with how do we deal with nerves? How do we deal with vocabulary? How do we deal with attention and concentration and visualization and memory? And we can't just try an interpreting exercise one time and then try another one another time. We need to repeat again and again so we can layer on those skills. Repetition lets you squeeze every last drop out of each interpreting practice. So there is a question about why the failing rate is so high with interpreting tests, and it is. There's about, I think, 11 to 15 percent pass rate for the state exam. Um, different languages have, have different percentages, different states have different percentages, but it's around that. About 15 percent of people pass, which means about 85 percent of people fail, and that's a lot of people. Well, the common missing piece is a team. And that's what we want to provide in our master class. We want to give you the support you need to achieve your goals. We'll have note taking for consecutive interpretation, which will involve listening, visualization, memory, symbols. Ah, sorry about that. Symbols and techniques to streamline your notes. We'll be working with InterpreTrain's labs. Um, which involve a three-step method. And maybe if you're interested, I can, I can give you a show, uh, give you a tour on their platform. But basically their materials uh, have a three-step method, which includes first vocabulary, then interpretation, and then evaluation. So there are Spanish specific vocabulary games and exercises that you'll be able to do if you're a Spanish interpreter. And if you're not a Spanish interpreter, then you'll have access to all of the vocabulary in the form of a spreadsheet. And you will then, uh, together with any other classmate who may speak your language work to create language specific glossaries okay that's those that's the 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 glossary guidance that I was talking about earlier as well as the share drive with your resources so you'll be able to do that and then you'll be able to practice that vocabulary again and again and again so it really stays in your head then you'll do your interpretation, you'll record your interpretation, and then you will evaluate your interpretation and you'll see, was I able to interpret to the best of my abilities? Was I able to get different vocabulary units? And what percentage of the vocabulary did I get right? We also do blind runs in the master class where we don't look at the vocabulary beforehand. You're not ready. You just jump in, throw you to the sharks and see how you do because you have to be ready for that when you interpret. And so uh, you do your blind run, you say, okay, all right, that was tough. I, I panicked here, I missed this, I changed that. And then you study the vocabulary and you do it again and again and again until you're blue in the face or wanna throw your vocabulary out the window. 
The, this method is proven to boost your skills and vocabulary. The, and the second, the step two, right? So we have vocabulary, and then we also have the interpreting practices, which can go slowly or fast. And that can help you to acquire the skills that you need and then stretch your limits so that you go from being able to interpret maybe 100 words a minute to 110 to 120, which is what you'll see on an interpreting exam, and then maybe even more than that. We have exercises that are available both as consecutive exercises and simultaneous exercises. They come from real court cases and documents. And step three is to give yourself an actual grade. So you look at specifically vocabulary here. And of course, that's not all that is involved in interpreting, but it's a big part of it. And so you'll be able to see, OK, I, I, I hit this unit. I didn't hit that one. Let me try it again. We'll also be working with a log that I have generated and, and we'll, we'll uh, share with all of you that helps you to identify not just vocabulary, but everything else. What are your other strengths? What are your other weaknesses? How, um, how many omissions are you having? Uh, do you tend to distort information? Is your delivery really clear and concise? So we'll look at your strengths and weaknesses and you won't have to guess how well you did. You'll know. And you can trust in the process. There have been many people who have contributed to these materials and to this course, including all of the people listed right here. So if you're excited about the masterclass, the question is if you're the right fit. And the first thing that has to, you have to be sure of is that you can actually attend. <laughs> so do, is your schedule right for this? Um, the dates for this fall, and I may post this video and you may be watching it after this particular masterclass, so you can always refer back to my website and check to see what the dates are, uh, make sure that you have them right. But for this fall, it will be held from September 11th to November 20th, 2023. That's from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're in a different time zone, you can do the math. Um, I've set it late on the East Coast so that people on the West Coast will have time to just skip out of work and right away come to the class so we can access people from the East Coast to the West Coast and everywhere in between. I know I had somebody who is interested in the class who's living, uh, I think she's in Europe, and that's a little tricky because the time zones are so, you know, I can't necessarily get everybody, but I'm trying to get as many people as I can. Mondays, each Monday there will be live instructor-led classes from September 11th to November 20th. There'll be one week in the middle that doesn't have instructor-led classes, but every other Monday from September 11th to November 20th, there will be one. The first two Wednesdays of the course are also live classes. So September 13th and 20th will be live classes with me. And then after that, it'll be individual homework from September 27th to November 15th. And then on Thursdays, you will have your study hall pods. There will also be other homework assignments throughout the week. So you're going to want to budget about eight hours a week to this class. You'll be meeting with your instructor two to four hours a week. You'll be meeting with your pod mates two hours a week. And you're going to want at least two more hours where you're working on your own homework, possibly more. There's one date I didn't put on here that's really important, and that is the registration deadline, which is the end of this month. So June 30th is our last day to apply for this master class. So make sure that if you're interested, you just apply today, and then we'll, we'll get you through the interview process before everything closes up. The admissions process, like I said, it does involve an interview. So your path towards success begins with your application. It starts Everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry about that. I think that um, I think that something happened with my internet connection. It just disappeared for fun. Uh, but I have a backup. I put it on my hotspot, and so can everybody hear me okay now? I think I think it's working. I'll keep it on the hotspot. Okay, great. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, this is what happens with internet classes, but my hotspot usually can pinch hit when something happens, which of course it'll only do it when it's really important. <laughs> okay. So um, I was just in the middle of this slide here. Let me go back. Okay, so we were talking about uh, your application. So you're, you will apply for the class um, and then I'll interview you. It's about 30 minutes, uh, 20 to 30 minutes where we get to know each other. I tell you about the class and then we can determine whether you're the right fit. And basically I'm looking for people who are passionate about interpreting and understand that they'll get out of the class what they put in that are, are willing and ready to do the work. And then after that, there's the registration. You can pay for the course and you will be uh, officially registered in the course and then, and then we'll be ready to get started.
So if you're a dedicated student who will commit to following a rigorous training schedule, you'll be selected for an interview. Once you've demonstrated you'd be a good fit for a program, you'll be invited to register. And like I said, not everybody is going to be the right fit. So, you know, think, think carefully about whether you have the time and the energy and the desire to, to make this your thing. We will not be accepting all applicants. We want students who understand they'll get out of the class what they put into it, are committed to working toward their goals, and understand that their team is counting on them, and also aren't there to just make excuses, because that's not how we learn. Finally, you have to believe in our approach. If you don't like the holistic approach, if you think that the breathing stuff is nonsense, that's totally cool. I don't need you to agree with me, but then don't, don't sign up for the course because it's not what you're, it's not the right fit for you. We do have a code of conduct. You'll be expected to attend online classes or review the recordings the week they're posted in case of emergency, okay? That, uh, that option will be there if one time you're unable to show up, but, um, but I don't want you to make it a regular thing. I'm asking people to commit to coming to the, uh, the classes. You'll turn in your assignments on time or complete them on time. You'll meet weekly with your pod to complete team assignments. That's after the first few weeks. So the first few weeks, uh, we're learning how to evaluate ourselves, how to give feedback to ourselves, and then how we can turn that feedback into really good feedback for other people as well. And you'll be asked to treat instructor and fellow classmates with dignity and respect in oral and written communications. We'll be talking about time management because it's really not about having time, it's about making time. So it's going to be 10 weeks of intense work, but if you hang in there, the sacrifices won't last a lifetime, but the results will. And your Sunday checklist is going to be do nothing and chill, okay? We're going to make sure that we schedule downtime in as well, because your brain is a muscle that also needs off days. So there will be times in the week for you to just chill out. Dreams don't work unless you do. So we'll be having a body, mind, spirit approach. We'll be offering you support guidance, structure, and the ability to push yourself so that you can achieve your dreams. So um, I'll be inviting you to apply in a second. I just want to cover, um, I want to cover tuition and then maybe give you a website tour if that's something you're looking for, but you're also welcome to just visit the website. So I don't necessarily have to do that here with you. Um, tuition. I'm sure that that's a question. And this is for the fall 2023 All Languages Masterclass. It will be different for other classes. So if you're watching this after the fact, then, um, then you can refer to my website for the updated information. But for this fall 2023, if you qualify, tuition, which includes everything that I just talked about and your year, one year access to the material, the lump sum payment is $14.95. We, ah. The slides are just moving. I'm having fun technical difficulties today. Um, there is a payment plan possibility, and that's for $545 times three. That would be your first payment when you're accepted, and then July 31st and August 31st. I'm going to go back there because my slideshow suddenly has a mind of its own. Um, the payment plan is a little bit more expensive uh, if you do the math than the lump sum, and that's to cover the administrative costs on our side. So I want to be transparent about that, but it is an option. So then you're just spending $545 over the, each month over the course of three months instead of the, the lump sum. That can be helpful uh, if, if that's something that you're looking for. So I'll just finish if the slideshow will let me with this one because it's kind of cute and then I'll open it up to questions and share the links. We do wish you success in your quest to become the best interpreter you can be. And we thank you for being here. So I'll back it up now to to all of you. I'm going to put a link. I'll put a couple of links in the chat in just a second and you're welcome to put your questions in the chat if you have any and we'll go from there. So I want to find you the application link now. I'll give you this is the all languages master class and you're welcome to apply today. I encourage you to apply today because again, the registration deadline is, um, it's coming up, it's the end of this month. So if you are interested, then go ahead and sign up today. I'll also, just in case you want the on only Spanish one, I'll get that for you as well. Just a second.
and then I'll look at what your questions are. Masterclass Spanish. Okay. Okay, so the master class for only Spanish is that link that I just put in now. So the first one is for all languages and Spanish interpreters are welcome to apply. Like I said, you will then have access to both the English materials and the Spanish only materials, or you can wait for the spring and then it'll just be Spanish only. And to everybody else, I know we have Mandarin interpreters in the room, we had French interpreters, we had, um, we had some other interpreters as well. You're all welcome to apply to the all languages class. So does anybody who is joining us live right now have any questions? You're welcome to type them in the chat or to briefly turn on your microphone and ask. There's a question about the fees. Um, the, the fees are different depending on which master class you do. So if you look at them, the, the fees that I just gave you are for the all languages class. If you go to the website, it'll tell you um, the, the fees for that one. Let me see if I have it here. It's, it's a little bit more. It's, um, it's $16.95 lump sum for the Spanish only one. And that's because we're giving you language specific instruction there. And for a couple of other reasons as well, that there's a bit of a price difference. Yeah, Felix. And uh, when does it start? You said some, sometime in spring, right? Yeah, the dates have not yet been confirmed. I believe I'll be doing it like I did this year, which was February to April. That worked pretty well for a lot of people. And then many people had their tests in April. So I think that's what we'll be doing, but it's not confirmed yet. Okay. And those of you who want to apply to the Spanish one, um, I'll have you on my radar. And then once I start doing interviews, the interviews for the Spanish one will be this fall, starting probably in September, then we can go over the details and the dates will be finalized at that point as well. Uh, you, All right. have, you have a newsletter out there, right? Would you be posting that on your newsletter or something? Yes, I'll you'll definitely see it on my newsletter. Okay. Absolutely, yep. Um, any other questions, either in the chat or briefly, if you want to turn on your microphone? Questions, comments, concerns? Okay, well, make sure that you took note of the links. Of course, if you ever lose the links, you can't find them, just look for Athena Sky Interpreting. You'll find my website and you'll find the masterclass descriptions for both masterclasses. And um, I'm really excited to see your applications and to interview you and, and see who we can find that will be a great fit for this class to make it a success. So I'll go ahead and stop the recording now and I'll wish you all a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those of you who attended live and thanks to those of you who watched our recording later. Take care. Bye.